this very quiet title screen is a little bit disconcerting. What's more disconcerting is that Jasper Carrot, as this is supposed to be, is staring at me with his CG rendered face and it's scaring the hell out of me. I'm trying to decide on a name. I did have AAAA and then I was like John for John Spartan because that's always my default name if I if a game offers me the name that I you know I don't want to put my real name in so I said, let's let's be confusing let's be Jasper. So this is Golden Balls. This is a Wii game that came out in about 2008, uh, based on a quiz show that's probably long been forgotten. Um, but I remember it because Jasper Carrot. Uh, hosted it, so I watched a fair bit of it. It was always a weird... A quiz show is probably a bit of a hard way to describe it, because there's not a whole lot of quiz to it. It's a lot of luck. Let's go for the punky rock singer. Jasper is a rock singer. Alright. Menu music? There we go. So I'm hoping this is going to explain the game because it's been a while since I've watched it. Well, it's been a while since it's been on TV. Uh... Tutorial on. Great. Alright. Let's uh, dive into one player. Truth. Lies. Honesty. Deception. Just how far would you go to be a winner on Golden Ball? Four players are going to talk their way to the big money. But before the game begins, allow me to introduce you to someone rather special. Yeah, just for Carrot. Hi. Well, hello. And, and now, now, let's, let's see, see if you've, you've got, got, got what, it, what takes it takes to take, to take the, the lot. I want real just for Carrot back. Digital just for Carrot is scaring me. Player one. Jasper's scaring me, I'm not going to lie. A builder. You know, a lawyer, Amy, a student. They got kind of a claymation look to them. So, let's stare eyes. Start the ball machine. There they go, round and round. One hundred golden balls stuffed with cash, ranging from ten pounds to an amazing seventy-five thousand pounds. It's all up there to be won. But how much money will be in today's game? The bad news is that alongside the cash, some golden balls have the power to destroy. They are the killer balls. <laughs> there are 16 golden balls in the ball machine, 12 cash and 4 killers. Here we go. Each player receives 4 balls at random, 2 for the front row and 2 for the back. 16 golden balls are in the game. 12 of them contain cash. How much? We don't know. Four of them are killers. Where are they? We don't know. But we're about to find out. Let's play golden balls. Loading data. Right, boys and girls. Welcome Whoa. To I was expecting 3D models. One. Let's have a look at your front two balls. Oh man. John, you're playing for over five thousand pounds. You know? You're playing for over seventy thousand pounds. Wow. Amy? You're playing for over ten thousand pounds. There's a lot of money in this game. This game is not just about what you know, it's about who you believe and who you can trust. Shortly, you're going to vote someone out of the game, and their golden balls will be binned. Yeah, see, this is the thing I don't really know, is that a lot of this was based on sleight of hand, and... Let's go truth. It's time money. to choose which player should be voted off. What? Well, I'm not going to vote for myself, am I? Uh... Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Rock. 
Ron. Get out, Ron. Our players have made their decision. Which one of them is about to leave the game? It's time to reveal who has been chosen to leave. You wait up with me, I have to start again. Ron. Reginald. Ron. 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 You are leaving the show. Could have done with a couple of reads of the same name. Just one more thing for you to do. Please, bin your balls. Bin that shit. Player one. Reginald. Oh, Reginald. Amy. Three players remain. The 12 surviving golden balls are loaded back into the ball machine. Remember, they could be worth anything. Yeah, so essentially you want to keep the big money in. That was the, cash, the big deal with this. There are killers. One so although Reginald killer had two killer balls, to the mix. There are now he had 75 grand as well. In the ball machine. Each player now receives five balls at random. Two for the front row and three for the back. Man, this is really inconsistent graphically. It's loading data. It's a... Oh my god. You're playing for over ten. How's he keep getting lots of money? You're playing for over Oh, I'm in trouble here. It's time to choose which player should be voted off. Oh, what have I got? I think I'm gonna have to bluff. And uh, let's vote off Amy. Because what difference does it make? Our players have made their decision. Honestly, Which without the one of them is about to leave the game. Without it's the dialogue between the players as to what they've got and what they haven't, and the bluffing, this is meaningless. Amy. Amy. Reginald. Amy. You are leaving. The oh, game. she had the seventy-five grand. You've been your balls, and you're out of the game. Thanks for playing. It's also worth mentioning this was an hour-long quiz show on ITV. You know? yeah, I had garbage. Ten golden balls remain in play. They're going back into the ball machine, and one final killer golden ball is being added. But somewhere in those 11 balls are the five cash amounts that can make up your maximum potential win today. 11 balls split between two people? You've played oh, well yes, each other okay. Here, but now you have to play together to yeah. build up as much cash as you can. It's time to play. Bin or win. You will now take turns to choose two balls each. One is to bin, the other is to win. The ball to bin goes out of the game for good, whether it's a cash ball or a killer ball. The ball to win goes into your top golden five, which will make up your jackpot total today. If you pick a killer ball to win, it will knock a zero Those subtitles are really off amount so far, effectively dividing it by 10. Good luck. Now then, the player that brought through the most money goes first. Reginald, pick a ball. Yeah, I have a real hard time thinking that a deaf person could actually read those subtitles that were scrolling that Reginald, quickly. Pick a ball to win. What's he going to pick? What's he going to pick? Great choice. Fifty quid. <laughs> player one. Oh, player it's been six hundred quid. Fantastic. <laughs> yes! 20 quid! To bin. Reginald. Reginald! Pick a ball to win. What are you doing? Great choice. Oh, we got some cash. Player one. Yeah, I can, I can live with bidding 100 quid. Great choice. Alright. Reginald. Pick a ball to bin. It's a killer! You know? He been the killer. Good work. Pick a ball. He's gonna put a killer on the 
thing now, though, isn't he? It's a killer! Yeah. Again, could have used more than one choice of dialogue there. It's Wait. a killer! Well, that's a pretty good run, then. After the killer balls, you're playing for over mm, one That high res text. Alright, so the whole you point at the end of this game. A very straightforward choice. Here you go. It's a choice I'll let which could make explain one it. or both of you some money. But it could also lose you everything. You have to decide to split or steal. Are you can explain what that means? If you both decide to play the split ball, then you split the money equally and everyone wins. If one of you decides to split and the other decides to steal, whoever has chosen the steal ball takes all the money. The one choosing the split ball gets nothing. Gets nothing but... If you both try to steal, then neither of you will win a penny and you'll leave here with nothing. Let's steal then. Well, you both hey. greedy, and you both leave with nothing. You're both greedy. All this far today has been a waste of time. That's the game. <laughs> I've been Jasper Carrot. You telling me? Balls, goodbye. Oh. Uh, well, that was a shame. Is that it? I win zero pounds. That really is it. Well, that was uh, 10 minutes of gameplay. Yeah, that's... Um, I had a feeling when I saw that this was actually a a game that came out that this might be a little bit rough. Just by the nature of it being... Because it's a quiz show that's not about asking questions. It's not really about interactive mi mini games. It's about... It's like Boulder Dash. It's like, you know, you're trying to convince the person... Or um, something like, you know, Cards Against Humanity, where you're trying to convince the person who's picking that your joke is the funniest or that you've got the balls that you need. So putting that into video game form doesn't really work unless you're playing against multiple people. If you could play this four player in your house and, you know, you could then play out the... But then you'd have to have four different screens. You'd, it'd have to be like a wireless iPad game so that you could... So nobody else could see what balls you've got. It's a good idea if they ever bring back the Golden Balls <laughs> franchise. <laughs> bring it back to the iPad. Um... But then you've got a game that requires four four hundred quid devices. Yeah, this is uh, this is a bummer. I I did have a quick look at the um, the history behind this. It was a this only ever came out in Europe because I don't think Golden Balls ever made it outside of the UK, if not Europe. Um, developed by oh god, Slam Productions, which I did a lot of googling around. I didn't find a whole lot. I think they were UK based. Uh, published by not Mindscape, which again, another European company. So that's uh, that's Golden Balls. It can sit, I think, fairly comfortably at the bottom of the quiz game list. But I've seen some pretty bad quiz games in my time, so it might not be there for very long. See you later, Jasper.